All right, so a student asked, how do I stop my RSS feed from posting so frequently? She was getting like three, three posts within an hour. And basically it's because that website is getting so much content over time, it is pushing out the data as soon as it gets it. I would say not to worry about it because basically you're still pushing new relevant information you're still using the keywords so this is this is based off of setting it and forgetting it and not being not falling in love with what your page looks like and how many posts but if you wanted to delay the amount of posts you get per time this video is going to show you how to do it so basically, I went inside the Zap where I set up an RSS feed to post to a Facebook group. I want to delay how long it's going to post. So I'm going to add an action. Down here at the bottom right, it says delay pause action for a certain amount of time. So what it's going to do every time this trigger happens, is going to wait a certain amount of time before it moves to the next action. So the action event is going to be delay after Q, which means after it updates, it's going to wait a certain amount of time. I'm going to hit continue. All right. It basically wants the title of the item in the news feed, which is this right here. I use a link. It doesn't matter. And basically what it is doing in this section it says time delayed for this is how long you want it to delay for it's asking for actual number so if you wanted to delay for two hours for three hours for four hours that is what is asking you for the delayed value so I'm just gonna put the number four when it asks for delayed unit delay time delayed for unit is saying okay for this number at the very top how long what does this number here represents so I want this number to represent four hours. I can make it four days. I can make it four minutes. I'm going to use hours. So, and I'm going to hit continue. What's going to happen is every time a new item is, is queued up, it's going to wait four hours before it moves to the next action. And that is how you delay actions using RSS and Zapier. and always make sure your zaps are turned on and that is how you regulate your time from a new item coming in your RSS to the time it gets posted on your Facebook page also if you're using a social media management tool they can do it automatically for you because they will post only when you set it to post so that is another advantage of using a social media tool versus using Zapier but if you're already paying for Zapier and you don't want to pay for another tool, this is how you do it.